Welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to work with the animated GIF in TouchPix. We are going to create this and this. Let me show you how to create the Kardashian style photo booth um, with TouchPix. The Kardashian style photo booth is a very high key, so light effect, and it uses a beautifier to remove all the blemishes from your face. And it's originally made popular by a company called Mirmir. Mir. Uh, they were the, the ones doing that effect for the Kardashians. That's why it's called the Kardashian photo booth effect. And we're trying to create an effect, something like uh, the photo in the upper right hand corner. Um, so with, uh, with some text and we're going to create this for a wedding. So let's go to touchpix.com. I already set up the event. I'm going to show you one thing that you might not know, you might know, but we're going to focus on a GIF session today. So I want to disable the photo, I want to disable the video, slow-mo, etc. So I click on manage and I go to the edit icon here and I'm going to disable photos, boomerangs, videos and slow-mo. So we can fully focus on the animated GIF today. Um, I'm going to select number of photos. I'm going to make it six. And let's go down and then submit this event. That's how you change the settings of an event. Now let's go to the designer. And what is really important is to create an overlay like this, you have to select slow-mo boomerang video animated GIF. This is the overlay for the video output, not for the photo output. I will address that later on. So select this one and then select the template five landscape long. And I already made an uh, a design for this. So you can always save and load your designs from the designer. So if you go to manage presets and you save your preset, you will be always be able to load your layered design later on. So what, that's what I'm going to do right now. So I click on load preset and you can see I made the Kardashian wedding template before. So I click on it and it will load the template. Let me quickly show you which fonts I used if you want to use the same one. So I've used Antonio regular and uh, this is the Bacalistis for the, um, yeah, more curly font, so to speak. And I want to show you a quick tip for the designer. Sometimes it's hard to select objects if they're very close together. Um, but let me show you how you can easily resolve that. There's a new section on the right hand side that says layers design. So I, at the moment I want to select the N sign, which is really hard to do because the J and the M are on each side of the N. So there is an easy trick to solve that. So I'm going to go to layers design now. And I'm going to move the end sign up so it's the top layer in the list. So what I do is I go to the end sign here and I click on layer up and then again layer up. So now it's the top layer. So now when I save the changes and I click on it, it selects the right layer first because it selects the top layer and now I can move it around. So that's a really neat trick for the designer. So let's add this template to the event by clicking on the yellow orange add template button. And I'm going to add it as a animated GIF template. I click on add template. And let's return to touch Bix. return to touch Bix. and scan the QR code and go to the iPad and go to the photo booth.
So here we have our photo booth and it has an iPad 12.9 inch inside and there is a Canon M50 inside and two flash units. And I downloaded the TouchBase app and I activated this event by scanning the QR code. Um, and so let's go into the settings now. So I tap on the hamburger menu item, I tap on settings and I go to menu item number five and I'm going to activate the beautifier. You can enable or disable that if you like the effect or not, but I think it's part of this effect. So I tap on color filters to add the black and white effect and tap on preset and you scroll down until you see effect number 12. And because we want to, this effect to be perfect, I want a white background. I want no distractions at all. So I'm going to remove the background and replace it with a white picture. So I enable remove background MQ and tap on gallery. And there is just a picture, a white picture there. You can download it from the description under this video as well. So you can add that as a file. I'm going to select it now and let's do a session. Tap on animated GIF. So let's see how this turned out. It could be that you have to tweak the exposure a little bit to get it perfect. I think this is on point. So that's how to create an animated video output. Now let's see how we can get a photo print from the same session. Let me show you something when I go to manage and edit the event here and scroll down to the functions. You can see that in the GIF settings, it says GIF number of photos is six at the moment. So if I add a photo template, it's gonna limit this number to how many photos are in that template. So if I have a photo template with three pictures, a GIF photo template with three pictures, it's going to limit uh, the number of photos in the GIF to three. So it's gonna take three pictures and that's it. So that's really important to remember. If you just wanna take 10 pictures in the GIF, for example, just set it to 10 and don't add a photo print overlay. All right, but we are going to do that now. So we are going to go to the designer. And let me show you where you add that photo, GIF photo slash print template. You do that here. So it's GIF, photo print, and you can select any of these templates or select a custom template. All right, I have created a preset for this as well. So I go to manage presets and load preset. And I'm going to load the Kardashian print preset. There you go. So because we have four photos in the template, it's gonna take four pictures. So let's add this template to the event as well. Now let's go back to the photo booth and refresh the event and make a print. So I've connected the print pix box and a printer now, and I've set up the printer settings in the TouchPix app. So let's do a photo session or a GIF session with a print now. And it's printing. There we go. That's absolutely fantastic end result. So that's how you do a GIF session in TouchPix.